In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the front bumper cover on this Jeep Liberty. Let's get started. Let's start at the top. We have to remove the grill to do this job. So there are some push clips here, whatever style you have. This is the uh, plastic Phillips head style. If you just have regular push clips, pop them out. For me, I have to unthread them most of the way and then grab my trim tool and pop them out. There are six in total, three on each side. Sometimes if you have this style, they kind of strip out, so you'll have to pry them up with something. Once you get the center out, you should be able to pull the outer piece. Do the same on the other side. Do the same to the other side. There's a tab that's at the top corner of the grill here. You're gonna have to press this down and out. Pull the top piece up and over the uh, hood bump stop. And there's gonna be a clip that you have to just pry on at the bottom here. Not really much you can do other than pull straight out. Do the same on the other side. Once you've done that, the grill should come right off. There are three push clips on each side that connect the fender liner onto the front bumper cover. We have to remove all three on each side. Take a trim tool, pop out the center, and remove the rest of the push clip. A lot of times these get stuck from sand, so just work them back and forth. If they break, you're gonna have to replace them. Otherwise, this won't be properly attached and it will flop around in the wind. Go down to the bottom of the fender liner. You'll see this push clip here. This has to be removed as well. Whether you just pop it out like this with the fender liner or remove the push clip, it has to be disconnected from the front bumper. Once you've done this to both sides, you can peel the fender liner back and you'll see a 10 millimeter bolt on a bracket here. You're gonna have to remove that bolt. Do this to both sides. Let's punch out these two plastic rivets. Take a small hammer and tap the center first. With the center flush, take a punch, tap that through. Once you have the center tapped through, take it out. We're gonna have to replace these with uh, regular push clips. At this point, this wheel arch should be able to pull away from the bumper. However, we have to unclip it from the front side. There are two bulbs we have to undo. You can either disconnect the connector by pulling back on this tab. Uh, this one's a little, little stuck, so instead of fighting it, what I'm gonna do is twist counterclockwise and just pull the socket out of the light. Just let it hang here. And then the, there's a second bulb a little bit further up. Push the fender liner out of the way. Do the same thing, twist it counterclockwise, pull the bulb and the socket straight out. Set it aside over here. Now that you can pull this apart, you'll see these gray clips in here. I'm sticking a plastic trim tool in here. Press on this tab and try to pull the clip out. There's also a tab on the back side. Kind of difficult to, uh, to access from here. Be very careful not to scratch it all up. Okay. There are three in total. Follow it along and you'll see where it goes, the next one, right up here. Okay. And last one, right near this turn signal lamp assembly. All right. So at this point, bumper should be pretty much free and ready to come off, except for two more tabs. So let's lower the vehicle a little bit and get those out. And of course, do the same to the other side. Underneath the headlights, you'll see a tab that has to be pressed down, pulled out, and then under both headlights, there are two more in the center. Uh, none of mine are actually clipped in and they won't, they are worn out. So once you've done that, the entire front bumper cover should come right apart. Let's reinstall the bumper cover. Now, because the two side fender flares 
have to uh, go over the bumper cover. You're gonna have to pry them out as you put this on so it can actually fit. There we go, press that on. Clip in the wheel arches. There we go. Let's reinstall the bulbs into their corresponding assemblies. Twist them clockwise once they're in. Lock them in or if you just unplug the socket with the connector, plug them back in. Next, lift up on the bumper or move it in whichever way is needed to reconnect the bolt that goes through that bracket. And then tighten it up. Make it snug. Let's put the fender liner back. Reinstall your push clips. If any of them broke, replace them so that this can be properly mounted. And at this point, I'm gonna get new push clips for these here. There we go. And don't forget about the push clip that goes on the bottom here. Do the same on the other side. Let's reinstall the grill, line it up. Careful not to scratch up your uh, bumper or headlights. And you wanna hook it over the bottom first, press it in. Once that's locked in, you can bring it up and over the top. It may pop out of the bottom just while it's going over the bump stops here for the hood. There we go. On each corner, on the bottom, make sure it clips in, but also on the top. You have to push this through and then clip it in. All right, let's get all the push clips reinstalled. Reinstall push clips. There you go, job is done. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.